Hello guys, Andrew here. I want to talk about conspiracy theories in that they're not the way the world works. There is no elite, there is no Illuminati. I may be really, really angry to hear that because the first time I heard that I got pissed off and the first comment that I saw that said that on a YouTube video got so many downvotes, it was ridiculous, but it burst people's bubble. This is not the way the world works. The truth is, when you think of a conspiracy, um, and Nathan Thompson, for example, said, you know, when he started Flat Earth, it didn't start at Flat Earth. It was 9-11 uh, conspiracy theories, then chemtrails, then JFK, then moon landing. And then even Mark Sargent said, Flat Earth is the last book on the shelf of conspiracy theories. You pick that up, you read it. Okay, now you've had all this prepping and priming and indoctrination from other conspiracy theories that now you can accept Flat Earth. That's basically what Nathan Thompson and Mark Sargent said. And what I'm saying is that there is no elite, there is no Illuminati, there are no conspiracy theories. Maybe in the past, yes, there's been a couple times where the U.S. did some false flag attacks, but the ones that people are saying now just makes it seem like the government is so insanely smart. The government cannot hide Bill Clinton's blowjob, okay, guys? The government cannot hide the fact that they're incompetent. The government, excuse me, the government cannot even make a good bridge. How are they going to orchestrate... Um, fake planes filled with a bunch of real people crashing into buildings, killing actual people, being captured by tons of video cameras, demolishing because of the, the, um, the steel beams weakening, because um, heat weakens, doesn't melt, heat weakens steel beams, so the steel beams kind of went, and they gave out, and then one floor hit the other, and even the firefighters said that you can hear the bump, the bump, the bump, the bump, and it got faster until it hit them all, hit all the floors. So you have to, the government has to find a way to hide all that proof. All the people who are on the airplane using either the phone, the plane, the plane's phone or their own cell phone in 2001 um, to say, hey, our plane's being hijacked. They're Arab people. They're doing this. They're doing that. They just stabbed somebody. They're taking control of the plane. I don't know what's happening. You have all that footage, all that video, all that audio. You cannot say it's fake. And what conspiracy theories do is they're so enticing because they make you feel like you have some special knowledge. And they say, throw out all that stuff. That's all wrong. That's all fake. It's like a magic wand. Boom. Fake. Don't want to believe that anymore. And so everyone who believes in conspiracies has this this need to fe to feel special and have this special knowledge that no one knows about, but it's not true. And uh, conspiracy theories are a way of thinking. They're a way of thinking that everything's connected to everything else. It's blindly connecting dots where there are none, and saying, "Oh, the elite did. The e the elite orchestrated this. They're making this happen." The truth is, everyone's a human. People in high places make mistakes. People in low places make mistakes. People collude with one another. It's called business. It's called friendships um, in social interactions. And things can happen. And there are such things as coincidences. Apparently, there's no coincidences in the realm of conspiracy theory. And, again, Nathan Thompson and Mark Sargent um, say that conspiracy theories are very enticing. And they can't believe how gullible people are to follow them. Nathan Thompson's a normal person. But now other people are like, oh, Nathan Thompson is a lizard. Nathan, Tom Nathan Thompson is this. He's that. I have comments, and I'll read one, that say Nathan Thompson is a transgender. Patricia Steer is transgender. These people can't tell the difference between a male and a female. Because I can tell when someone's a male and a female. I can tell when it's a man dressed as a woman. Because he has an Adam's apple. He has a weird shaped face. I can tell when it's a woman dressed as a man. Because she has short hair and a baby face. And walks like a gangster. And maybe has some hormone therapy. You can tell when someone's a man or a woman. These people can't. They can't tell when pictures are fake. They can't tell the dinosaurs from Jurassic Park. From the real pictures from the moon. They can't tell. So they say it's all fake. That's all CGI. And then D Marble. Uh, they showed him proof. Say, so look, this is actual proof of curvature, and everyone's like, oh man, I don't know what to believe, like, that just totally ends Flat Earth for me, and this other guy said, man, I've, I've lost my whole life with Flat Earth, and, uh, upon seeing that evidence, and then D Marble says, nah, man, that's fake, that shit fake, because I've, I've seen dinosaurs in the movies, so I can't trust, you know, helicopter footage that shows curvature, I can't trust it. So you don't want to believe it. And Nathan constantly says, in my group, 
You know, we've been looking for curvature for three years. We're the largest research group. They haven't. They've just been regurgitating the same stuff in the same echo chamber over and over again. They reject all evidence. That's what flat earthers do. How can you believe in flat earth in an age of space travel and satellites and telescopes and footage? You can't. You can't have a sober, logical, rational mind and believe in flat earth. You cannot reject everything that goes against your theory and accept everything that is for your theory. That's not how it works. And that's what conspiracy theories do in short. Conspiracy, conspiracy theories ignore all the vast amount of evidence and goes, Psh, nope, nope, JFK, there was two shooters. Nope, 9-11 was an inside job. Nope, you can't melt steel beams. Nope. Nope, earth is flat, there is no curvature, water doesn't curve, oh, it's flat, bro. No, and that's what I'll say, because I know you guys have a short attention span, so I'm going to end it right here. Take care, guys.